I am feeling really good. I am very enthusiastic about how my life is going right now. Compared to a decade ago, I was in a place where I was very confused about the world and how the world worked. Now my life is more exciting. I'm doing a lot of new things. My focus right now is helping others. I'm a motivational speaker that goes around the world speaking on the behalf of missing and exploited children, human trafficking. And I want the people out there to know, including the mothers, that they can have strength, they can have hope, and their child will come back. I wrote my second book and it's called Life After Darkness. It's about my life now and the joys that I'm having. My journey into trusting again, it was a long and painful road. I came so far and everything is so peaceful now. Buying my first home and feeling safe was the most important part. I painted the whole house myself. I also painted pictures that I put on the wall. I also have my lizard, Marla. She's over there in the corner. That is a grandfather clock and I love it so much. Me and my sweetie picked it out together. This is the biggest news I got for you, Dr. Phil. This is my sweetheart, Miguel. She's a lot different than any person I've ever met. You know, she's been through a lot of things and, and I'm, it still surprises me every day how strong she is. I love him so much and he's been a great support system for me. Now that I found love, and I'm happy, I can do anything. It's so good to see you. It's so good to see you. I got really good news for you. Well, yeah, I understand you have a big announcement, so yes, tell us what I it do. is. Dr. Phil, I'm married. So, wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now you and I know how big a deal that is, right? Look at these wedding pictures. He's a sweetheart. He's a gentle giant. Um, he helps me through a lot of my struggles, but I don't let those struggles infect how I live my life. Right. I still move forward. <laughs> right. Well. <clears throat> Now, you have, uh, you have written this really uplifting book, Life After Darkness, and I, I want to read an excerpt from this um, because it goes to that. It says, the first time he told me I was beautiful, I had trouble believing him. I had always been told I was ugly. I had been bullied for being short, for my weight, my clothes, my hair. I had been called names that made fun of my looks. But when Miguel said the words, you're so beautiful, I began to realize that he was talking about the me he saw deep inside. That was the me I hoped I was and wanted to be. If he could see that, I thought, maybe it's true. Maybe I really am beautiful. Maybe I do deserve to be loved. So. That was an important reckoning for you, wasn't it? Yes. 